Hello friends, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video what we are going to do here is to look into compare a for example price for a product for the last two prices. So for example we have a product table where the process, price of the product is changing over time. So we want to compare to show where the most recent changes whether there is a match or no match. For example product A the price change on 1st January $20 and on 1st February it is now $11, uh, $21. So we want to make sure okay there is a these are there's multiple changes but we, we only want to compare the most recent two prices and for each product and uh, th th this could be it can be used somewhere else as well like for example there is a revision or there is a status change or something but which is happening on the most recent date for each product. So let's take a look at the sample data and also the solution. Let's get to Power BI. So here, here I have a product table uh, with a simple data. Uh, we have a product and then there is a date and what has been changed, the price change. So then product two, there's no change. Uh, there's only one record, so it's a new product. Now there's a product three. Uh, I want to make sure that I highlight few points here in the data. So product three has two changes on the same day. So it's not on the different day, but on the same day. So we want to compare these two as well, because even the most recent is, uh, changes are on the same date. And the product four is a little interesting. There are changes on the same day, and the price is still the same. So it means we are going to compare these two changes, and uh, we want to make sure that the, this is show, showed as not uh, changed, whereas product three will be shown as a change, even that prices are changing on the same day. And similarly, product one uh, will show um, change uh, because on 15th of January to 13th of January, there is a change in the price. Product one, we will say no change because there is only one record, so there is no change happened. So this is what the raw data is. And I already created a sample table here where uh, I just um, put those uh, records in there. Um, oh, one of the things we cannot use the rank function here the reason behind that is because there are ties It will be very very hard to break the ties either. We have to create another unique ID to break those ties um, But let's say if that is not the possibility here, then what are the other alternates what we have? All right, so let's start writing a measure. So what we're going to do is uh, We going to create a measure The first part we're going to do is get the top uh, um two records of each product uh, sorted by uh, descending by date. So let's uh, call the measure uh, price comparison. So how we can take the top, uh, so we can say uh, top end, how many we need to, and then we can say filter all product price so now why we're we using all because we if any filter is applied on the product price table we want to ignore that you can also have the all selected if you really want to compare only the selected ones but in this case I think all make more sense so we have all product price and then but when we have all now what all is going to give us the full table so we don't want all but we want to filter on that specific product on the product which we are looking at so how we can get that so we're going to go product price price uh, sorry uh, product is equal to max of product so what it is going to do is so th this is giving us all and all product price table and then we are applying a filter on top of that give us the one which we're looking at once we are in the row number one uh, at this row so it's only giving us the three rows because of that product and in this case it will give us two rows all three rows in this case now once we have a a table for the product uh, sorry I pressed enter by mistake and then what we need is we need to sort it by uh, date to get the most recent one so that's this and then descending now we are doing descending because we want the uh, last two the most recent dates now once we have that, let's check what this uh, will return. So concatenate X, we can uh, top records. What we can do is we can have a date and also concatenate it with the um, price. We see what uh, values we get. 
let's use this uh, measure in our visualization here so we can see okay here you go so what we're seeing here is uh, for product one we are getting 13th of January 15th of January that's what the record is 13th of January for each line even on the 12th of uh, January we are still getting the top two rows most recent dates so and then we are also getting the price so $20 $30 and similarly if you go to product two there is only one record so we are getting only one row and if you go to top three so we have a 13th uh, 80 and 70 dollar and product four we are getting 13th and 13th we have two records for 13th on the same price and that's why we are getting it so now we have this so how we say it's a price matched or not matched so what we need to do is compare these two prices so one way is to compare this or the other way is uh, what I'm going to show here is we can have a distinct count of this price column on so if there's a distinct count return the two rows value two it means um, these are the two different values if it only returns one like in this case 70 and 70 the distinct count will be one it means this price matched in other cases the price does not match um, so how we can do the distinct count so what we can do here is let's say let's call it crown price and then we will see so we can have a summarize our top brackets table add a column to it count price and then we can have distinct count of price column let's see what this this count price table the summarized table will return uh, so if we our existing concatenate x we add now this count price as well so again concatenate x because summarize is going to return the table so we cannot straightforward use count price uh, variable here uh, so that will be count price and the count price count the variable we created and let's see what we get here here you go so in, in for product one we are getting value two because these are the two distinct prices and that's why it's two and for product two we are getting only one because there is only one record the most interesting one in product four we are getting one value so because there is the same date same price and there is a there is no change so now this this one is a uh, now from here it is pretty straightforward if we say okay if this count is two then a price does not match with the previous price if it is one it means price matched so how we can do that so what i will do is uh, i will add a sum x to our summarize and get sum the count prices so now this count price is going to be a, a scalar value it's going to give us a sum and then if we simply say count price is equal to 2 then price changed otherwise same price and that's what we're going to return here so we will see it immediately here here you go for product one the price most recent price changed and product two the same price so now we can make a copy of this because this in this particular um, visual it does not make sense but if i create another copy of that one and remove date and the price now i can see the product one the most recent price has changed because 30 dollar and 20 dollar for product two the same price because there's only one record and uh, for product three the price changed 80 and 70 dollar even they are on the same day but the price has changed and product four on the same day there were two records for 70 dollars so it's the same price so that's what we are getting so where we don't have the option to add index column to create the rank to break the ties we can use this kind of technique to find out the distinct value and compare the most recent two dates let me know what you guys think about this uh, I hope you learned a few DAX tricks out of this. Um, do subscribe my channel. Until next video. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye for now.